Hey, and welcome to today's Planalytics Pantry Challenge. So, in our box today, we have milk, flour, and eggs. So, some very basic pantry ingredients, but which are highly important, especially when you're baking or cooking in any way, shape, or form. You can make lots of different things. So, today, one of my ingredients is mushrooms. Um, so I'm thinking what we'll do today is we're going to make some pancakes. So obviously you can make pancakes savoury, you can make them sweet. Um, we're going to do a savoury pancake, so or as the French call them a crepe. So it's a very thin pancake. So first of all, I'll show you what, how to make the, the mixture. I'm just going to do it by eye because a lot of us, we don't always have scales and stuff like that. So I'm just going to crack in here two eggs. And then I'm going to put about three, three tablespoons, three large tablespoons of flour. Just give that a little mix up. And again, if you had some herbs, some parsley or something like that to make your crepes, you could, you could put that in there. Um, again, if I was doing sweet ones, I actually wouldn't add any um, sugar to this. I would just add sugar and lemon or whatever you was doing after that. But the main thing is to make sure that you get rid of all your lumps. Mm -hmm. And even to that, you could add a little bit more flour. Okay. So I'm just trying to show you how to do it by eye, yep. rather than always having to worry about a recipe. So you're looking for kind of a thickish paste, A thickish paste, yep. and then we're just going to add a bit of milk to thin it down, basically. Okay. And as I said, the main thing is you don't want any lumps in your, in your crepes or your pancakes. Okay. Right, so that's that. And we're just going to add a bit of milk. A that. generous splash. A generous splash. Yes, yeah, most probably again about two or three tablespoons. But again, with this, you're just doing it slowly, and you you can always add more. But yep. obviously, you can't take it out. No. So steady as you go, first time around. Exactly. Yeah. I'm going to add just a tiny bit more. Okay. Just maybe another one and a half tablespoons. Yeah. Now if. If somebody got a bit heavy-handed with milk, could they add a bit more flour? Add Just, a bit more flour, yep. add another egg. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's not, not disastrous if you do kind of go a bit... Yeah, no, exactly. Away. If you go overboard, it just means you're going to have more pancakes. Yeah, that's right. Which isn't a bad thing, <laughs> no, is <exactly. laughs> Right, so that's your sort of consistency okay. that you're wanting. Right, and then we're going to do our mushroom pancake mixture. So mm -hmm. we've got a pan here, we'll just get this on. Um, we've got a little bit of onion garlic and I've got the mushrooms here and I'll put the crepe pan on as well which is that one there so even if you're chef you don't always know oh, where everybody is hang on that's it sometimes I have to gently blow on the um, on the gas um, ring yeah, to get it get to it light <laughs> there'll probably be somebody out there who can tell me that that's <laughs> probably not ideal <laughs> Right. Okay. So, so we're just get a little, maybe two tablespoons of okay. oil, any oil, extra virgin. We've got just canola today because you know you've got whatever you've got. Yep. Um, and then first of all, we're just going to add our onions and garlic. It's half a um, onion and about two cloves of garlic. Okay. And that was fine, quite finely chopped, wasn't yep, it? Finely chopped. Yeah. I think in other episodes, Dan, you've shown us how to chop an onion. So um, do go back and have a look at our other videos. That's it. Yep. All right. So we're going to sweat this off. We don't really need any colour with it. We're just going to cook it down okay. and add a little bit of salt and pepper again. Just salt, just release the onion juices, but also obviously to add flavour because you want this to be. Really, really nice. Bit of pepper. Bit of pepper. Quite a vigorous burner, that one. So, um, yeah, that's all right. So, yeah, we'll just leave that for a minute or two just to cook down. Okay. And then we're just going to add our mushrooms. So, 
locally we have carp bow mushrooms. These are the flat mushrooms. They call them portobello mushrooms. Oh yeah. Um, and then yeah, we just add these. They've it's, got a lovely flavour, haven't they? Really? They have. These are the, the, the best flavour, I would say, are the, the button mushrooms. Yeah. Um, so how many mushrooms have you got in there? Do you? Think? I have most probably got. They're so they're all about that size. Yep. Um, it's most probably about eight to ten mushrooms here. And the thing is with mushrooms, it's a good about. 50% water, so yes. once they do cook down, there's not much to them. No, so you, uh, sometimes it, you think, blimey, that's a lot of mushrooms. That actually it ends up being quite a modest amount once you finish. That's it. Yep. And again, to this, I'm just going to add a little touch more salt, because again, it brings the moisture out in the mushrooms. Okay. And then... So salt is really important for cooking, isn't it? And some people get a bit nervous about using salt. Yep. But yep. without it... Things can maybe not have as much lovely flavour. Yeah, a bit, be a bit more bland. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely lovely in there. Mm -hmm. right. So the other thing is, I have got a little bit of um, rosemary here. Yep. Which I just pinched from the garden. Your garden? Um, yes, from my <laughs> garden. Yes, I did. But I'm sure if you've got some lovely friends and say, have you got a little bit of rosemary or some thyme? Um, you can put that in as well. Yeah. And again, this is one of those hard herbs. Right. So you just strip the leaves off. Yep. And I haven't got my chopping knife here, but I try and oh, use sorry. a little butter knife. No, it's not you. It's me. <laughs> and we come this Completely side. unorganised, but that's all right. It's the way we're going to roll a, today. I have a chopping knife if you want one. That's right. No worries. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, a little bit of rosemary or thyme. That's always nice in there. And as you see now, the, the mushrooms are cooking nicely down. Oh, lovely. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of cream to this. Okay. Could you add milk if you didn't have cream? You could add milk. Um, you could. Um, basically, you could make like a, a white sauce, which I think we're going to do. I'm going to do one with about making sauces. Okay, that would uh, be great. To make like a bechamel sauce and a roux and all those different things. Yep. So, um, if I was going to use milk, I would say grab a teaspoon of butter, yep. warm that up, add a little bit of flour, and then add the milk to that. So that's basically making a bechamel sauce and you whisk it out so there's no, no lumps in it. Okay. Um, but the cream naturally thickens where uh, milk almost would split if it didn't have a little bit of a thickening agent to it. Right. So that's most probably about 100 mils, I would okay. say, of, of cream. Got it. I think that'd be neat doing one about sauces because people can be a bit nervous of sauces, eh? You know, and think, oh, it's all a bit too fancy and difficult. Definitely, yeah. I think. Um, and again, that's what makes you makes your dish uh, a lot of the time. I'm going to actually going to put this onto the smaller one just so it doesn't boil. So, Good idea. rapido. I'm just going to have a little look in there. Oh, that looks amazing. It smells even better. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. What okay, happens next? So next, we're going to do our crepes, crepes okay. or pancakes or whatever you wish to call them. I think was it in America they call them like is it popovers? No, that might be that might be Yorkshire puddings. Right. But anyway, <laughs> right. So we just again generally with if you've got a Teflon pan, it's not really going to stick anyway. Mm -hmm. But right. Okay. So this just, is the important bit. Yep. Yeah. So we just put it in the middle and then we just. Like that. Alright. So you're evenly coating the bottom of the pan. Evenly coating the bottom of the pan. Yum. I love pancakes. Me too. Mm. Especially with lashings of sugar <gasps> and lemon. Lemon, yes. Yeah. It's funny, um, when I lived in England, we'd only have pancakes on pancake day. Yep. Yeah, and since you. I've lived in New Zealand, we have them like every weekend. Yeah. So that's that's a lot. Of, I've been here for a while now. That's a lot of pancakes. <laughs> yeah. Right. So again, obviously, when you're doing this, you always want to taste. You do. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> that's not bad. Just needs a little, just a tiny little bit more salt, okay. and then a little twist of pepper. Taste as you go. Yeah. That's one of the benefits of doing this. One cooking. of my old chefs said, "Taste, season, taste." That's taste what you season. want to do. <laughs> right. Right, so oh, you're again, good. sorry. Yeah. Pestos fingers, yeah. You don't, you don't, obviously, yeah, you'd use a spatula, but I've not got my spatula, so I'm just going to use my fingers. Okay. And just, do be careful if you're using your fingers. Yes, at home. please, yeah, please <laughs> do. Do as I say, not as I do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so literally, that's 
been cooking what for a minute or something like that. Yep. And then what we're going to do is um, we're going to just put it into a little ramekin here, mm -hmm. and then we're going to turn it out. So I'll show you. Exactly. So we know like it's like a stuffed pancake. You could fold it in half and then in half again and put your mixture in there. Yep. Um, but I'm going to do it just a little bit different today. Okay. So. So these are all basic ingredients that you're going to get in a food pile. So if you receive one of those, or you're likely to have in your pantry. So that's the idea of this project: is to just kind of make really good food accessible using really basic ingredients. I'll stop talking and see if you can stuff that ramekin. Yes. I have never seen this done before. This is very exciting. And there is another way of doing this. If you had a little bit of Glad Wrap, yep. you could put a bit of Glad Wrap in there and then put this in here so we definitely know it turns out. And also, if you're making this and then you're going to eat it, say, tomorrow, yeah. you could actually warm it back up in the microwave. Okay. Um, so you've got something ready for tomorrow if you wanted to. Okay, yeah. Oh, this looks incredible. What a wonderful idea. It's like a pancake pie. It is. Well, this was actually one of my signature dishes many, many years ago, and I did it with like um, um, a little garlic froth and some wild, wild garlic and other garlic different bits froth. of this. Yeah. That sounds exciting. All right, I'm left a little bit of sauce in there so yep. we can put and a little bit. And then we're just going to literally just go like that. Yep. Wow. Yep. Yep. And that's it. And then we're going to just turn it out and hopefully, as I say, if you leave it overnight, it will keep its form. And if you have the glad wrap as well, it would um, be easier to turn out. Yes. There we go. Hey, that looks great. Do you know what it reminds me of? A steak and kidney pudding. Oh, there you you go. know, it looks like one of those, doesn't it? All right. And then steak and kidney pudding. Oh, lovely. Right. And <laughs> oh, then we're just gonna lovely. Put a few mushrooms. As I said, if you had, a, you know, put a little bit of olive oil as well. Oh. Some herbs. If you had some herbs, or a little bit of salad with that. Yep. But oh, look, I'm making a mess all over the shop. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> it's the story of this kitchen, I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> well, that looks incredible. So, here we have Ant's mushroom pancake. Bon appetit. Wonderful. Thank you, Ant. Right. Thanks ever so much for watching the pantry challenge. It's always fun and hopefully entertaining. And uh, bon appetit. Enjoy. Happy cooking. Thank you, Ant.